Mangroves are trees or bushes that grow in thick clusters along seashores and riverbanks. They have a thick tangle of roots that stick up to the mud. These roots help to keep waves from washing away the dirt and sand off the coastline. Today my friend and I are going on a little trip into the mangroves with our tour guide, Apollosa. Apollosa works within an organization that believes in conservation. We are going to learn that while it is okay to take things from the mangroves, it is also important to look after it so that it will be there in the future. Today I'll uh, talk about the mangroves, uh, the importance of mangroves, and uh, what uh, we uh, benefit from the mangroves and uh, what are their roles uh, in our ecosystem. Uh, so today we'll uh, walk through the mangroves and um, just identify um, what are the, the species uh, present or what are the, um, the physical environment of uh, the mangrove ecosystem. Eh? We are very happy to be here. It was low tide when we went out into the mangroves. We got to see seaweeds, crabs and big roots that would have been difficult to see in high tide. We learned that there are three types of mangrove trees, red, black and white. The red mangrove, or the tiri, leaves out into the water. It can be identified by its long prop roots and by its skinny leaves. So I remember the red mangrove by saying, red, red, pointy head. The second kind is the black mangrove, or the ndongo, which leaves further out in the swampy areas where you can find their roots, called pneumatophers, pushing up through the mud. Then of course, we have the white mangroves that live way up and away from the water. It doesn't like the water at all. It excretes the salt with these glands at the base of the stem and we remember it by saying white white screwed on tight. Mangroves grow in estuaries where salt water and fresh water meet. There are lots of species that depend on these special places. Look, there goes a crab, and another one, and another one. Another reason why mangroves are so important is that when their leaves drop into the water, they form a thick mark called detritus. Do you ever notice that strong smell in low tide? That's it. The detritus is the beginning of the food chain of all the ocean. So it is important that we leave these trees here so that they drop their leaves and make that leaf matter. The mangroves also help me understand symbiotic relationship. The, the For example, the crab that lives only in the mangroves eat insects that might harm the mangroves. I learned so much about mangroves today and I hope you did too.